Hey fam, I want to welcome you to my channel. I am Dorika. If you're new here, by all means, get comfortable. Look around at the content that I create. If you find that you like it and you want more, please like and subscribe. And for my returning subscribers, I want to thank you for coming on back. Remember that you all are always welcome in my house. Stay tuned. Because in today's video, I'm going to show you how I turn that, that's right, that, into this. That's right, y'all. Today, we're going to be doing sublimation. And so, follow me on over to my printer, y'all. Let's go. Okay, y'all, so we're over at my heat press. As you can see, I have this piece of hardy board on here. And it is because my heat press is only a 16 by 24 heat press, as you can see. So this board is to help maneuver or help me move my shirt around while I'm pressing it. And so that's why I have this hardy board. And this hardy board came from Lowe's. And I tried to link the description in the description below what kind of board it is. So that's the board. And then I put this piece of parchment, uh, butcher, I'm sorry, craft paper on top to help me turn my print as I'm pressing. And this board just helps this paper glide, turn around easier. And it also helps to protect the hardy board, which, as you can see, I still messed it up. I still have all kinds of ink on here, but it's still okay. And so, here is the shirt we're going to be pressing. And I got this shirt from um, JiffyShirts.com, I believe. So, this is the shirt. And the board on the inside is called Ram Board. That's how I make my shirt templates, and I'll um, link this in the description below as well. And so, okay, that's the shirt. And um, sometimes I pre-press my shirts before I um, press the image on, and sometimes I don't. And so it's just your preference. I've used this board several times before, so the ink. Can this old ink can transfer onto this shirt, and so I normally put some uh, butcher paper on the inside of it just to uh, stop that ink from transferring. So that's what I'm doing now. I normally put like two pieces on the inside because, as you can see, this part still needs covering. And this butcher paper. Uh, came from Sam's Warehouse. I'll link that below in the description as well. So now we've got both sides covered. And if you look, you can see this little, little line right here on this um, other piece of butcher paper. I'm going to just slide a piece of parchment paper on the inside of here because sometimes this line is so, it's so harsh, it comes through my shirt and come out, comes out of my image and leaves a, a line in it when I'm done pressing the shirt. So I'm going to um, put a piece of parchment paper in here to help this line not be so harsh. That's the 
parchment paper. This is the parchment paper. I got this from Sam's Warehouse as well. And that is that. I did with my scissors, but I'll find them. But as for now, I'm going to tear this extra piece off. And the last thing we're going to do, I had this little piece of paper right here. And I like to put this right here on the inside of my shirts. Because if you don't, the ink can transfer to the back of this collar and get on the back of your collar of your shirts. Sometimes it bleeds through, so I like to put this piece of paper up here at the top to kind of keep the um, the shirt pretty clean to kind of help that bleed through. And I just put some tape on it to kind of hold it down. So it won't move. Some people say I might be doing too much, but I'd rather be careful than sorry and have to redo this whole shirt at the end. Got that tape down. Then I'm gonna take this parchment paper together so it won't move. When I'm turning the shirt. A butcher paper, should I say, parchment paper and butcher paper together. Got those taped together, and that is that. Move that. And now, here is our image that we're going to be pressing onto the shirt. Alright, so what I do now is I'll take this shirt and put it face down. That's the image, the Buffalo Bills image that um, somebody wanted me to, to make them a Buffalo Bills shirt. And this is the shirt that they wanted. Um, it was designed in Photoshop. Okay, so I'll take this shirt. Let's try to even this up so it'll be even once we press it. And so the way that I like to kind of um, judge it, judge whether or not it's even, is I like the, the um, space on the right side and the left side to be pretty much even. That's how I line up my shirts. And so right now, as you can see, that this side equals the space on this side so that's how i like to line my shirts up and it may be a little bit off but it's all over shirt so you pretty much won't be able to tell if it's just slightly off okay so once that is done i just get my heat tape heat tape and this heat tape um and dispenser came from Heat Press Nation. Well, I'm sorry, the dispenser came from Heat Press Nation and the heat tape came from Amazon. And so I get my tape and I just kind of tape it down all the way around so it won't move. So that's how I type it down. Right 
bring it up some so you can see what I'm doing. And then I get my scissors and I just trim away. Trim away at the edges. Like so. Trimming all the way around the shirt. Just trimming all the way around, leaving a little bit on the edges. Trimmed all the way around. And so once it's trimmed all the way around, I get my shirt and I flip it over just like that. Well, like okay, as you can see, it's flipped over. To the front side now with the um with the sublimation print on top of the image all right i may need to trim a little bit more up here at the top i don't know if you can see it. i'm gonna trim a little bit more off the top because it's hanging over the edge okay Turn it back around. Then we're going to get ready to put some parchment paper on top. To keep the ink, we put the parchment paper on top to keep the ink from bleeding through on my heat press. Slide your back some so you can see more. Another piece of parchment paper. Just gonna use two, two sheets of parchment paper. I can reuse this parchment paper over and over again. So I'm just gonna use two, I just tore off two pieces. And now we can begin to press our image, y'all. Let me test my pressure first. I haven't tested my pressure yet. pressure good and so as you can see I like that pressure so my heat press is set to let me move you up so you can see where to set it 400 degrees for 60 seconds keep pressing the shirt in sections until the whole shirt has been pressed some areas I might have to repress again because I know they won't come the ink won't transfer completely the first time so sometimes I have to press it a second time and so I'm going to keep pressing the shirt in sections until the whole shirt is covered. All right, that's the first section. And you can see the ink coming through here. By the way, this image um, was printed on uh, some tacky sublimation paper I got from Heat Press Nation. So it's tacky, so once you press it, it's automatically going to stick 
to the shirt and help it, help it stay secure to the shirt, which makes it better while you're pressing it. So I'm gonna turn it. It's perfect. Another thing I need to do, I'm sorry y'all, I always like to trim this butcher paper so that this shirt will slide even more up under the heat press so I don't have to press it as much. So let me do that. I forgot to do that. So this is going to help this shirt go more up under the heat press like that versus this butcher paper blocking it so so that's why i'm doing that i'm gonna come up here and do the same thing Now that I've trimmed it, it's going to fit better up under the heat press. So, let's put our butcher paper back on. And let's press this side. Sometimes my heat press will pop back up on me. I... I probably need a new clamshell heat press, but I still have that Pro World heat, Pro World heat press that is a swing away, but I kind of like my clamshell better, y'all. So now that we have pressed all the sections of this shirt, I believe, I'm just going to check it to make sure to see if there are any sections that I need to repress because sometimes the ink doesn't transfer fully the first time. And so there's some sections that I may need to repress. So let's check it out, y'all. Ooh, that is so pretty. Already I can see that I get, I, I need to press over here again because I didn't get this, um, that area of the sleeve. So we're gonna repress that. And then if you look right here, you see some white areas right here that didn't get pressed the first time. So we're gonna repress this one more time. I'm gonna repress that section. All right, let's turn it and check over here. All that, that looks good. So we don't have to repress anything over here. All right, so let's turn it around. Look under here. That looks good. And the great thing about having tacky paper from Heat Press Nation, it's gonna stick right back to it so you can repress it. Um, it sticks right back down, it's not gonna move. 
And let's look at this side. Yeah. That side looks good. So it looks like the only sections we're going to have to repress is that sleeve and that collar again. Okay, so let's repress the sleeve. Same time, 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Okay, so that now that all areas that needed to repress have been repressed, let's take a look at the entire shirt, y'all. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's go. There it is. There it is. Look, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. 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 What you think? What you think? What you think about that? What you think about that? Get your peep on. Get your peep on. Get your peep on. All right. Okay, y'all. So here is one last look at our finished product. And I did do the back off the camera, y'all. That's the back. It's the same design as the front. That's it. Okay, okay, okay. I know, I know. You ain't ready to leave my house. But guess what? It's always... You ain't got to go home, though, but you're going to have to follow me over to my next video. Please like and subscribe. Until then, bye, y'all.